Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. So I have this look, it's like my everyday soft glam go-to makeup and every time I do it, I get so many questions about it. So I figured I would sit down and show you guys exactly how I do it step by step. I filmed one on TikTok last week, but it was more like my daytime look. Um, today, I'm just gonna do it a little bit darker, which I call my nighttime look. I, I do like to switch it up a little. Um, Basically, I just make it a little bit smokier. And this is just gonna be a little bit more in depth. I find TikToks are really fun to make, but I can't be as informative as I want to. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. I'm gonna start off with moisturizer. Lately, I've really been loving the Glow Recipe um, Hyaluronic Plumping one. I left that in my kitchen and I really don't feel like getting it. So today, we're just gonna be using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I like this a lot too. Very plumping and hydrating and just preps my skin to look its best. To avoid my makeup peeling up, I just like to let my moisturizer sink into my skin for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to go in with a primer. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm just rubbing that into my skin with my fingers and this just makes my skin feel so smooth. It really just fills in any pores, any fine lines. I love this primer. Before foundation, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. This is in the shade light medium and I just, it gives me a little bit extra coverage and it also just makes my skin look really, really glowy. And I'm just using a brush to blend that out. I have been loving mixing these two foundations since the summer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and this is the L'Oreal Radiant Serum Foundation. Um, this is shade 7N, this is shade Golden Vanilla. I just really like the full coverage of the Airbrush Flawless Foundation and then just combining that with like the radiance of this, ooh, of this foundation is so beautiful. I'm gonna mix that really quick. And I'm just using a Morphe M439 to buff that into my skin. Even though I have a lot of product on my little palette here, I just like to like tap off the excess. I don't wanna go in with too much foundation um, just to avoid looking cakey. We're just doing a little bit at a time and then if we need to, we're gonna go in with another light layer. But honestly, the Charlotte Tilbury foundation is pretty full coverage, so. Always blend my foundation down my neck. Also, my ears, um, especially when I'm wearing fake tan, I don't want my ears to be like lighter than my face and body, you know? Okay, so that's the first layer done. I didn't pick up any more product. I think I'm going to go in with a little bit more though here because I still have some blemishes that I can see. I absolutely love this foundation combo. It makes my skin look so flawless, so radiant. Now I'm just picking up a damp sponge and whatever's left on this little palette, I'm just going to pick it up with the sponge um, and then I'm just going to press it into my skin. I just prefer the finish of a sponge, but the coverage of a brush, so. Next up is contour. I've really been loving this Patrick Ta duo. It's the um, little contour on top and then bronzer on the bottom. I'm picking up the contour shade with the Morphe M523 and I'm just pressing that into my skin. And I just like to bring it a little bit higher than the actual like hollows of my cheeks, just to kind of lift my face. I absolutely love this product. Both the cream and the bronzer blend in beautifully, especially the cream. And the shades are perfect. The contour is a nice cool tone, similar to the shadows of your face and the bronzer just like warms you up. For nose contour, I'm using the same product, this time on a Morphe E17. First I add some product to the tip of my nose. This kind of lifts it a little bit and then I add a little bit across the tip to kind of create that button nose look. I then bring the product up the sides of my nose and blend it into the contours of my eyes. I just kind of like to drag the product up and out a little bit too to kind of just like snatch my face a little bit. To blend that out, I'm just using a Morphe E27. I'm just going over everything with our sponge from earlier. I'm 
contour is done now we're going to highlight same shape under the eyes as always bringing it up a little bit to lift my face i'm adding a little bit to my forehead as well i no longer put any on my nose um i just feel like i achieve the same results just like with a highlighter and then I like I don't want to add extra product if it's not necessary. I like to let this sit for a little bit, but first I'm going to spray it with my setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And I'm just going to let my concealer sit for a couple of minutes. By the way, I'm using the Pat McGrath Sublime Concealer in the shade L5. Okay, I've let that sit for a little bit. Now I'm just going to blend it out. Um, I start by blending out the chin and the forehead because I don't actually need any coverage there. And then I leave under my eyes last so that they can like sit as long as possible. I find that when you let your concealer sit, you get a little bit more coverage. So that's what we're doing. We need all the coverage I can get for my under eyes right now. I just feel like they've been super dark lately. Like I've been working a lot um, and I work nights and then I try to like wake up and get things done, but it's really hard. <laughs> so I feel like my under eyes are just really showing the late night shift. Now I'm gonna set my face using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder in Fair One and then just a little powder puff. This is the Makeup Forever one that comes with the powder. I actually have been really liking using a powder puff for powder. I feel like it just makes me look really airbrushed. Now I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder in the shade Banana. Again, I'm picking up a little bit of product on my powder puff and then just tapping away any excess. And I'm just going to pat that into my face. Again, under the eyes, um, my smile lines. Just anywhere where I want the makeup to really stay in place. Basically, I just do the center of my face and then with a fluffy brush, this is a Morphe E3, I just pick up a little bit of that powder and press it into anywhere that I didn't set with the powder puff. I'm taking the Patrick Ta again, this time the bottom bronzer here. I'm just gonna go over anywhere that I contoured earlier. And I'm just using a Morphe M438. This is a little bit of a smaller brush, but it lets me apply the contour more precisely. And for the nose, again, I'm just going over wherever I placed the contour. And I'm just using a Morphe M433. I'm also just kind of like blending that in to the eye contours, but I'm gonna do the rest of that later, so don't go too crazy with it. Before I get started on my eyes, I just wanted to finish my face, so I'm just going in with blush. This is the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade, I wanna say Bora Bora, but it's just this like beautiful pink shade. And I have no idea what this brush is called, but I really like it for blush application. It's just a little bit smaller, so it helps me be, again, just more precise with my application. I just really wanna make sure that I'm applying my blush in like, a flattering way for my face shape so the smaller brush really helps me get that precise placement what I really like about this blush is how amazing it blends um, on top of powder like I've just powdered my whole face and it's still applying so so beautifully it's not patchy at all it's blending perfectly I love it for the past few months now, I've been doing a cream blush and then a powder brush on top, powder blush on top. This is the NARS, um, what's this called again? This is the NARS blush in Thrill. Look at that pink color. Oh, it is so, so pretty. And I'm just using the same brush that I applied the cream blush with. I'm gonna do another layer of setting spray. This is the same one. I just like to lightly pat that in. We're bringing back the Hollywood Flawless Filter for highlighter. I just like to take a small amount and just apply it to the high points of my face. I love using this as a highlighter just because I feel like it looks super, super natural. It's very like illuminating without like the glitter or anything. 
Okay, this next step is so extra, but I've been loving it lately. So I've been taking the Milani, what was the name of this blush again? Coralina or something? Luminoso. I don't even know where I got Coralina from, but I've been taking Luminoso just on a little fan brush and kind of like using it as a highlighter. I think it looks so, so beautiful. Because the NARS blush is so matte, I just think this adds a really nice like radiance. Moving on to eyes, I'm actually gonna be using the P. Louise base today. This is in the shade Rumor 2. And now I'm just blending that out with a Morphe E22. I just feel like it really makes my eyeshadows pop and like assists with the blending. They like rarely look patchy now. I'm not gonna set the primer at all. I'm just going to go ahead and start doing my eye look. So I'm taking the Patrick Ta bronzer again and I'm just going to work that into my crease. Um, I just always like to make sure that I'm using the same bronzer in my eye look that I am all over my face. I just think it pulls everything together really well. I'm actually gonna go ahead and switch brushes. This is the Morphe M573. It's a little bit fluffier and I prefer it. It's a lot easier to work with. Yeah, pretty much following what we've been doing throughout the tutorial, I'm just going to start pulling the product up and out to kind of give me a little bit of a lift. Also, I like to bring it down to my nose again and just kind of make sure everything is blended well together. Now I'm just picking up the bronzer with the Morphe M506 and I'm just drawing out a wing shape. And this is just going to provide a good like base shape for the rest of the wing. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really have one set eyeshadow palette that I go to for this look, but I'm just gonna use this Makeup Revolution one today. Really, all you need is like a couple shades of brown and a light shade. It doesn't matter what palette you're using, you can still pull this off. I'm gonna start by picking up a medium brown on a Morphe M213, and I'm using this to further define that wing shape. And you're just going to want to focus also on blending that into the bronzer that you've placed down. Now I'm picking up the darkest of the brown shades and again, I'm going to go over that wing, but I'm just, I'm not going to diffuse it as much. I'm just going to keep it close to my lash line and then only bring it up a little bit. I'm picking up a little bit more of the dark brown just to darken it a little bit. I'm just going to go in with a Morphe M433 and blend that out with a little bit of bronzer. The key to making this look really good is just making sure everything is properly blended together. Taking a flat brush now, this is the Morphe M124. I'm just going to try and kind of use it to cut my crease. Not really because it's not going to be that sharp of a line, but I do just want to place it right under where my crease is and kind of like clean up the bronzer a little bit. See it's adding that definition back to my lid. And I'm just picking up that blending brush. There's no product on it, but I'm just going to use that to kind of like buff out the product at the end here. Okay, the eyeshadow is done. I don't like to put anything on my lower lash line. I just like to keep that very light and bright. So I'm just gonna go in with my mascara now. This is the MAC Stack Mascara, the one with the pink bristles. Um, so I was actually headed to work the other day and I mentioned that I work mostly nights, but I was scheduled a day shift um, and I had to be there for 9.30. So obviously it was so hard for me to get out of bed. Um, I just decided that I was gonna do my makeup on the train, so I just packed a few makeup products in my little makeup bag. And then once I got on the train, I realized I didn't put mascara in there, and I was like, how could I forget the main thing? Like, I wear a mask at work, all people can really see are my eyes, and I forgot to pack mascara. So while I was walking to work from the train, it was a Sunday, so like nothing was open, and MAC was open, so I was like, nice, I'm gonna buy a mascara. And I picked this one up, it was $40 after tax, but I mean, you guys, look at this. Like, my eyelashes look incredible. 
I feel like my lashes look great and I don't really need falsies, but I'm just gonna add some half lashes because I wanna show you guys what I've been doing. I get so many questions about this, so I wanna make sure you guys see what I'm using, how I'm doing it. Before I do my lashes, actually, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup just because I've just added so many layers of mascara. So if you watched my last makeup video, which was the full face of Charlotte Tilbury, um, you know that I tried out this brow pencil and it wasn't my favorite. I have been loving this product lately. As soon as I got used to a pencil again, this won me over. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheat in the shade Dark Brown. It's just very smooth. It's very easy to work with. It's obviously not as precise as a brow pen. It's a little bit thicker, but it still looks very natural. So I'm a big fan of this product right now. I start by drawing on some brush strokes at the front of my brow. And then I just draw a line from the front of my brow to the end so I can map out what shape I wanna follow. Now you can see I'm just drawing on a whole new brow tail. And then if the top of my brow looks a little sparse, I like to add some brush strokes on there as well. And then to set my brows in place, I'm just using the NYX Brow Glue. You may have noticed I made a bit of a mess while applying the like 40 stacks of mascara. So I'm just gonna use a spoolie to try and like clean that up. Okay, you guys are not ready for this lip combo. It is so good. I'm just taking the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Iconic Nude. I'm gonna start by overlining my cupid's bow and then I kind of bring the liner back down for the sides of my lips. I feel like this gives the illusion of a really like pouty upper lip. For my lower lip, I don't really overline it. I feel like my bottom lip is already so much bigger. And then I just lightly fill in my lip with the lip liner. I've got to say, I think this is my favorite lipstick of all time. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW. It is just the most beautiful nude shade. I just like to apply a little bit of that to my lips and then blend it out with my finger. Now for my favorite part. This is a little trial size of the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I will be purchasing the full size of this when I run out. Not only does it like actually plump my lips, like I could feel it plumping them, but it just makes them look so juicy, so shiny. Like this lip combo is insane. I'm absolutely obsessed. Okay, I'm just gonna put my earrings in because like I don't feel like myself without my hoops on. Um, but they get in the way when I'm doing my makeup. For my inner corner, I actually ran out of my favorite brown eyeliner, so I'm just gonna use a brow pencil or a brow pen instead. This is the ABH brow pen in dark brown. For my inner corner, I just kind of draw a line extending my upper lash line and then the same with the lower lash line and then I just fill in that little triangle. And I just like to do small little brush strokes to avoid ruining the shape I want. For my lashes, I usually use the Ardell Wispies, but I actually ran out of those, so we're gonna be using these today. These are the Kiss So Wispy in the style Pompadour. Okay, so here is the lash. I'm not, okay, focus on the lash, not me. There we go. Um, so I'm not gonna cut the lash right in the middle. I'm actually going to cut it one, two, three, four, five, six, about six knots in from the inner corner. As you can see, I have the two pieces here. They're already cut. Um, you can see this one's longer, this one's a little bit shorter. What I'm gonna do is take lash glue, put it on this piece. No, focus on the lashes. <laughs> I'm just gonna put lash glue on this piece and then I'm gonna put it under this piece and kind of glue them together. So I'm just gonna do that off camera because it's actually really hard to show you guys. Okay, that's done. I have the two pieces glued together. As you can see, the outer corner or like the outer end is a lot fluffier and a lot more thick than the front. So I'm just gonna use that as a half lash and apply it to the outer half of my eye. Okay, the lashes are on and I've gotta say, they look amazing. It just elevates the look so much. I'm not quite done though. Lately, I've been loving turning my blemishes into little beauty marks. So we're just gonna go in with my eyebrow. Oh, oops, it's refillable. So it often just comes apart. I'm just gonna use my eyebrow pencil to draw on some beauty marks wherever I have blemishes. Okay, one last final spray of setting spray. I think this is like the third, but I really got to make sure my makeup lasts all day, all night, especially if I'm going to work a shift um, and I'm wearing the mask all night. I really want the makeup to stay in place, so I really overuse the setting spray, but this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. If you like this vibe, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.